Hey everyone, welcome back to Birdhouse TV, where we eat it so you don't have to. Guess what everyone, my phone is still impaled. So that means I'm still making videos that might deviate from what I normally make. Today's episode is more of a great food idea for broke college students who want to feel like they're eating premium food like a McDonald's. Even poor people deserve to feel like they're Burger King sometimes. I've been a broke college student for quite some time now, so I have some experience making dollar store stuff taste decent. Warning, this food is not healthy. Eating this food every day may result in a kidney boulder. So anyways, I'm gonna show you the ingredients. The first one is instant ramen. This is a college student staple. You always have to use Maruchan whenever you make this. It's worth the extra 10 cents. Usually I use the chicken flavor whenever I make it, but I wanted to try something new to get the reaction. The soy sauce looks like it'll taste good. I've never had this one before, it looks really good. The next ingredient is Idahoan mashed potatoes. You have to use this brand. You cannot use Target or Walmart generics. It's just not the same thing. It's not worth saving 22 cents. You might accidentally make mustard gas when you mix it. It's that bad. Those people from Idaho know how to make a mean potato. They got on that green pointy hat like Zelda. They got on the wooden shoes. And they go on top of that mountain. And on the top of the mountain, on the side of it, they got the goat. And then they go like this. Yo, I want to eat all pollo loco way. Yo, that's the secret of an Idahoan potato. Just like the ramen, these potatoes come in a variety of flavors. So once you learn the secret recipe that I'm gonna teach you, you can mix and match them and you get endless combinations. All right, we're back. Uh, I just boiled these noodles. I haven't added the seasoning yet. So, there it is. Wow, it smells really good, just, just the powder alone. Wow. This smells uh, very good actually. Chicken has been like uh, an all time favorite of mine, but this one's, uh, it smells like it will taste much better than the chicken one. Tastes okay. <laughs> I think this might be too hot. Let's see. Oh, it's actually pretty good. I don't know what was up with that first one. It was just like a uh, really hot. I don't know what it was, but this is actually really good. It's like a seven out of 10. I still say chicken is much better though. And now, if you ever watch the anime Food Wars or Shokugeki no Soma, it's time for me to pull a Soma. So you have something really good already. And then whenever the judges are uh, tasting it, you know, they have like their like a uh, moment where they're all like, wow, so good and whatnot. And then um, they're about to like cast a vote. And then every character is always like, oh, hey, save some on the side or something. I'm going to change the flavor of the food and it's going to transform into a completely different dish. So, you know, you can tell people you're making some awesome ramen. You know, you, you, put, you bring this out and everyone's just like, oh, it's just ramen. Everyone's all disappointed, right? Everyone's just all like, you know, I can eat this for 20 cents. And then uh, everyone's going to like, cast a vote to not eat from you ever again. And then you pull the surprise on them. This takes two cups of water to make. This also takes two cups of water to make. So what you do is you just open it up and you just pour that in there. And everyone's uh, acting all surprised. You know, you just put mashed potatoes into a ramen and then you just mix it up. Man, that smells really good. And just like that, right before your eyes, this dish has transformed into something completely different. The taste and the texture is, uh, is pretty good. You know, I eat this pretty often. So you won't have to stick around for my reaction. It's gonna be great. I know it's gonna be good. I'm gonna finish this. So <laughs> I guess the flavor profile is different though. So you wanna stick around for that. Mmm. 
that is amazing that tastes so good so soy sauce maruchan instant noodles and um and four cheese idahoan great combination definitely try it definitely buy like every flavor you'll spend like what 20 bucks and you'll get to be able to try many different combinations it's really good mmm all right this just tastes like a, like a really good oriental noodle dish it's really really good try it out don't be grossed out you know definitely tell your friends that you can uh, make them a great tasting meal for a dollar and 20 cents mmm that's really really good you can find all this stuff at like a Dollar Tree or a 99 cent store maybe like I said though don't use top ramen uh, the seasoning from the Maruchan is way way better mmm so I've tried um, the chicken ramen with basically almost every one of these bags of uh, mashed potatoes all of those are really good and um, I'm starting to think that the soy sauce with um, with all of these Idahoan ones are um, gonna be great too. Uh, have you ever see the Maruchan uh, creamy chicken ones? I think those would go great with the mashed potatoes too. Mm. All right, it's really something like when uh, you just get like a big bite full of noodles, and those noodles like they just kind of sink into the texture of the uh, mashed potatoes. But then like when like um you start biting into it, you have like that soft mashed potato texture, and you think it's just gonna keep sinking, and then suddenly you bite into the noodles. So you feel like that stage, like that first stage of softness, into that second stage of softness, and your teeth just cut right through both stages, and it it's really good. Hmm. You know um. What would go good with this too is if you put some um, some shredded cheese right on top. After you mix the mashed potatoes into the ramen, just put some shredded cheese right on top and let it melt. Tastes really good. Uh, if you ever want to contribute to a um, Thanksgiving dinner for ten bucks, you can make a pretty good platter of this stuff. You can bring it to your um, to your entire family reunion, one hundred members big. You'll probably have like the best thing there. Maybe you can even um troll them you can put on the noodles on the bottom and then let it just all sit there with the, so uh, the soup on top and you put in the mashed potatoes and you don't stir it as violently that way it looks just like mashed potatoes in a platter and then when your family members look at it they're like oh that mashed potatoes looks interesting it's all like um like brown and you go oh yeah it's infused with the gravy already and then uh when they start like cutting into it or scooping it you know they're gonna have that reaction where they're like oh it looks gross you know then they bite into it and then they change their minds and you're gonna have um your family members begging you oh man can you host thanksgiving and you can say yeah i can host thanksgiving on just 10 bucks anyways i'm definitely gonna finish this off camera it's really good i knew before i made this video that i would finish it i just wanted to share this great recipe with you if you like this series let me know if it's if it's popular enough i will definitely uh, consider making more dollar tree secret recipes that taste decent or great Maybe you could tell me in the comments what you plan to mix. Which Maruchan ramens and which Idaho and potatoes you're planning to buy and mix with. I think personally the uh, garlic herb mixes really well with many of the Maruchans. Just a little tip. Anyways, happy January one. Have a safe and happy new year. This is Birdhouse TV. I'll see you next time.